Waste Not Wednesday. We go live every Wednesday at 10 a.m. and we make over junk, cheap thrifted finds, the things that you might throw away, and we turn it into home decor, in this case, clothing, um, that we sell at <laughs> jamierayvintage.com or in our retail store here in Lehigh, Utah. Um, back by popular demand, we are doing altered shirts, doing a stenciling technique and bleaching. I've been able to pick up some really inexpensive um, shirts. That That's most a 2XL. Just, yeah, I was... I shop the plus size. They have lots of good ones because people, especially even if you're not plus size, like oversized shirts, everybody wants them. It's a thing. It's a huge thing. So if you guys are makers, this is going to be fun. It's a way to stretch out the value of your JRV stencils. The stencils we make are super thick and they hold up to lots and lots of uses. The most expensive one I have, I think was five bucks. Even this one, I think, oh, this one was $3 and it's Ralph Lauren. So nice. pretty excited about that. Also, we have these bags. They were not from the thrift store, but they are $9.95 on our website. And I want to upcycle them so I can make them cute. We'll sell these ones, but then we also sell just the bags if you guys have your own creations. Or if you have like a black uh, tote bag at home, these are perfect to do bleach stenciling. So I'm going to move these out of the way or get started. But the question is which ones do which we start one with do first? We do first. This, I think, is a stencil project. Yeah, this is a stencil. So I'm going to do that first and knock it out. That way we're not worrying about, like, bleach and stuff. Okay. And then I think should we? I think we can bleach the rest of these. So this is just a tiny little spray bottle. Picked it up, I think, at Target for probably traveling or whatever. It's got bleach in it. Um, we usually go half, half, half bleach, half water. If you use the concentrated bleach and not the watered-down bleach. And then this is a bucket full of water and... Hydrogen peroxide, it's our neutralizer. Once we get the bleach to stop the bleach reaction from eating all the way through the fabrics and making them really weak so that you can't even wash them in the washer, we'll dunk them in here in some water, swish them around, rinse that bleach out. So this one we're gonna wind up just stenciling. The thing with stenciling is we like to use DIY paint. Weatherwood is one of our favorites because it's not too dark, um, but dark enough that the stencil shows up. Then we let it sit for 24 hours. We will use a iron and heat set it for about 20, 30 seconds, depending on the setting that's appropriate for the fabric. And then in about a week, we will wash it and dry it. And then it's good to go. It will fade over time, but we have had really good success with this. We do tea towels. Um, I do try to find fabric that is absorbent. So if it's like a slick fabric, um, it's not porous, then the paint does not soak in as well. So I'm always thinking about that when I'm thrifting. All right. So just putting my board up in here so we don't get bleed through what to the other side of the shirt. This one is X. a 1X. So Super cute, three-quarter length sleeve, a couple of... So um, if you want to know how, how in the oversized shirts are, like Odelia has this really nice Carhartt sweater, and she's basically giving it away to Jamie because it doesn't fit her it's like big only enough. A, a large. Yes. And she prefers her sweaters in a 2X. So the, the style is like the big baggy sweatshirt with like leggings or, or uh, yoga pants. What, and that's what like stencil you want on here? Um, let's see. So I brought a few. I feel like this is cute. Okay. Um, this is a French grain sack, the Agricole one. All of these stencils you can get at jamierayvintage.com or from one of our JRV retailers. I don't know why I have crystal stencils there. They were just stuck to it. We could also do some floral if you wanted to do that. Yeah, this is really popular. This was on our mannequin. If you guys saw our live video or if you're channel members, you watched us do the mannequin shirt. Um, and I don't know if that's too busy for this but I know people really like that shirt. So I don't know, that's another option. Okay, I'm just lining everything up. On the back. We could. Do that on the back. Actually, I think just one thing on this Okay, let's fine. just do that. We don't want it to be like super crazy. Okay. And so this was $3 at the thrift store. This will, so when I do sweatshirts and flannels, they usually cost up to about $5. This was a little bit of a good deal. Um, but I'm still going to price it the same. So this will sell for about $28.95 with free shipping. Which is probably a third less than it costs brand new at the store. And it's one of a kind. <laughs> so this is a really fun activity to do too. If you just have some older things that you want to zhuzh up, 
zhuzh is the word I've apparently been using a lot lately. It's been getting comments on it. Zhuzh. And if you are, if you happen to get bleach on one of your favorite flannels or shirts, then that's a perfect opportunity like to this. retire. This is the shirt I wore last shirt. time we did this when we did this with channel members. They were the uh, the test subjects for the project um, to see if we could actually make decent looking designs. And we did have some errors on there. So we found out some good things with them and we'll maybe show you if we get around to that today. So Chris Thompson has a great question. She lives in North Dakota. Her. Um, if you want to order <laughs> DIY paint, here's the situation. You can order DIY paint from us. Do not order cottage color or any liquid top coats. DIY paint, if I have had it freeze and unfreeze. I mean, I guess if it's a solid block, I don't know. Debbie put it in her freezer for a video, but it's clay based. So worst case scenario, you add some water, you can stir it up. But, and our cottage color has a built-in top coat. So you do not want that to freeze. Um, and we also have our liquid top coats. However, that being said, we I have- just that. Oh, I think that's cute. So I just, I did the center part and then the two stars on the end. Because I didn't strange. want it to be like super necessarily farmhouse, you know, it's a nice three quarter sleeve. I like it. It's understated. Um, oh, what I was going to say though, is there. if you email Caitlin, she can have them put a heat pack in your order and we can do that and ship it priority. Just make sure when it comes that you don't leave it outside for days and days, like watch tracking, get it inside when it comes. All right. So, so hopefully look, that helps. looking at that, I need to do the rest of the design because that's a little low without the rest of the, <laughs> the design. <laughs> so you we will. Tina, I do stencils. We do not do chalk couture. Sorry, you had asked us about chalk couture. We don't do that. We have our JRV stencils and that's what we use. All right, so let's reposition if this. If you've only stenciled um, wood, when you're stenciling fabric, especially porous fabric like this, you go a little bit juicier, but you still do want to offload. Um, so that, what are you doing? Uh, it's too, I, I had set it up to have the whole design on and it's too low. It's going to be like down here. All right. So what I would do, maybe just do the top one and don't do the circle and see what it looks like. Okay. We will see. That's something to keep in mind when you're doing this. You don't want it to Place be it. like down on your belly. Also don't do stuff like just right on your nipples. I'll tell you the grandma Doreen story. This is funny. Caitlin will laugh because this is her. A uh, paternal grandmother, and until I was like six, I didn't know she wasn't my grandma, technically. Anyways, she made these t-shirts with, remember the things, they probably still make them, you could put in your shoes and they were like spirally coil looking and then you didn't have to tie your shoes. And she put them on, she put them on shirts for all the granddaughters. And um, there is one particular uh, daughter-in-law who was the most conservative and her daughter happened to get <laughs> the sweatshirt with the coils that were right here and so she was sitting there like pulling on the coils and her mom was just like oh my gosh I mean they were all over but especially right here so placement all all that to say placement is important <laughs> that's like I'm not even commenting well it was but knowing, no, yeah, knowing grandma Dor Doreen I actually lived with them a little bit for a little bit after my mission um knowing knowing her she totally unintentional um no yeah and, like, and completely innocent <laughs> yeah although for whatever the worst was when she bought her grandson's thong silk underwear i don't understand that those are my favorite grandma dorian stories very proper english grandma there yeah she's i like it like that okay this is better the placement on here is good let me pull this out this time this is just like an old drawer piece <laughs> out of a piece of furniture. We save everything. Look how, yeah, that's much better. All right, placement on that is better and the design is good still. It's still fun without looking like a grain sack, which is okay if it ends up looking like that, that would be fine. But on this particular shirt, I felt like this was gonna be better. And this shirt isn't perfect. It does have a few like like little teeny tiny snags in it, but it's still super That's cute also in it. though. Yeah, like, the, like the, I actually have shirts that are pre-distressed. Like ripped jeans are out or on their way out. Are like, they out? Like the shredded ripped jeans. Yeah, I think they are. But like distressed shirts. But distressed shirts are coming we in. We have those heart sweaters right, that are like distressed ones. Okay, let's do denim because we haven't done. Do we want to do, I could. I guess I could do a bleach one. Let's do a bleach one. Let me we don't have any more. That's kind of the lighter bleach. one. Maybe that, pe that peachy pink one. Yeah, these ones stencil. are fun. Well, I was going to bleach this too. Okay. I don't think that's dark, 
spark adapter bleach. This one is a 2X. 2X, okay. Let me just make sure there's no paint. Residual paint. Yeah. I don't think there is. I just, we, really we used this, new drop we used this, this is like a moving blanket. We used it last night and <laughs> it could have some stuff on it. Yeah, we finished all of our thrift haul. If you guys haven't watched, we did a shop tour yesterday. It was at night. We're going to try to do our shop tours. Um, the lighting's the much morning, better in the morning. The lighting's much better. Oh, this has a um, slit in the side. Yeah, it's cutesy I with like leggings. It. Okay. It's a little bit, it's like made to be wide. And this is the cropped. front. What do you want on it? All right, let's make a decision here. So we could, sorry, my, all my stencils are, and if Les is watching, I still haven't cleaned my stencils. Um, let's do the, this design. Do you think the one that we, did I think on this there? sweater material is thick enough that the paint is not going to go through it. Cause I'm not putting it on that. Do you want to bleach it or stencil it? Okay, and I have my French word pack here, the Valentine's Day one. We got Mon Tresor, isn't that the one we? Yeah, but that needs to go up here, and then I Is don't that know weird? that. I feel like that needs to be lower because we have some swirlies here that we don't positioning. Let's not let's not <laughs> recreate that. Actually, you know what? What if we just do something else? Yeah, let's All do. Right. Maybe we just do something on the back, like this on one. the back of it. We did that on one. And it was super cute. And then it didn't turn out perfect, but then we just stenciled it. Do you want to do? Let's try with the bleach on this one. Okay, so we need to put cardboard underneath it, right? Um, you don't want bleach to go all the way through. Yes, we'll just put this board in. Because the bleach will soak and go through and you don't necessarily want that. I'm going to go a little higher though, about right. Let's see, Where's my where are my seams? I'm just kind of thinking like how designs usually work on shirts. So a big design in the back, and then maybe we'll do like a little uh, heart on the front or something or nothing on the front. Maybe nothing on the front. Or do we have more tape? This has been used and it's not sticky. Yes, in the top drawer of my hutch. Sorry, we're a little bit, we tried to be prepared, but we have an appraiser coming today and we didn't know until yesterday evening that he was Yesterday at like nine. <laughs> yeah, he's like, can I come tomorrow at 11? I'm like, you can come at 12. Give us a minute to clean up after our live video. Yeah, so we and were we running up. around doing some crazy stuff this morning. Um, I didn't wake up late. Well, I woke were, up and shoveled animals, snow for an and hour. And then you went back to bed, and then we didn't get out of bed till like 8.45. Yeah. Well, after shoveling snow, while it was still snowing, I was like, yeah, I'm going to go back to Luckily, bed. Luckily, we had already kind of decided to do this idea. So important make sure you get your stencil centered and it's really easy usually they have like a tag that's centered so that makes that easy and then we like to just use cardboard because we're just it doesn't soak through we're essentially masking here yeah we're masking and we're gonna do some random it like, will get some spritz on there on the bottom anyways i hold it down and i look away all right oh hello cooper skidmore Okay, I need you to hold those top two. All right, hold on, let me put this arm underneath here. All right, this is the, I what? want you to sneak your arm up there and hold that one down, like here. <laughs> Jamie. What? There we go. My arm's only so big. Okay, we're spritzing. And we're spritzing. If it gets on your skin, make sure you rinse it or wear gloves. Okay, that's actually enough. Okay, we're gonna pull these off. Go Don't off. move your stencil yet. Very important. This is something we ran into. One of the tips that we ran into with channel members is I was pulling the stencil off and there was still bleach sitting on top of the stencil that didn't soak into the fabric and it ran all over my design. We off worked of with the, it. If this doesn't thing. come out super crisp, it's okay because we can stencil over the top of it, which is what we did on our channel membership video. All right, that's going to be pretty light. Let it. I don't even know if they'll. We're going to let it sit for a minute before we put it in the neutralizer. I think it's cool. Let it. Let it keep going. I'm going to bring it up so you can even see. Oh. Yeah, you can see it. It's can you see to get... it it's starting to come in? And it's. It's just so bright in here with the snow. Oh, you can actually see that pretty good. Now, this might keep going and completely 
uh, lose all the detail. And if that happens, then we'll stencil over the top of that and it'll give us like a really fun two tone. Yeah. Well, I was also thinking you want to bleach the bottom on that. Yeah. Let's like, wait and see spritz. what happens with it. Or do you want to just spritz just it now? I want to spritz it because I like the distressed look. Okay. Here's, As my dad used to say, you gotta Jamie stress likes it. to stress everything. All right. I'm going to let you spritz it. Here's sleeves. Are those three quarter length sleeves or are those full? Mm, I don't know. I'll try it on later. So Jamie's making my eye twitch a little. What I like to do is I like to come from one end and spray up that way so it doesn't, so you don't get like a concentrated little pocket. We'll see what happens after she spritzed. <laughs> All right. That's enough. What about the front? We got to wait for a sec. Okay. Why don't you spritz? All right. Pro tip. Don't do it with your husband who has opinions. <laughs> Another thing you could do too is if you want to give it like a tie dye effect, you can tie it all up and do rubber bands, dip it in bleach, and then dip it in the neutralizer, and you get a really fun tie dye effect. So maybe we'll do that another video. Okay, so let's go set that over there. We'll work on our next. Okay, we'll set it over to the side design. for a sec because you want to let the bleach do its work on the different fabric. fabrics act differently that's a pretty thick fabric and it is getting pretty uh i think it's going to be okay you put enough bleach pretty, on there yeah that's actually really cool and we if i neutralize it and i don't like it i always come back and add more uh bleach okay so this one i found this is a really old navy flannel 2xl the classic shirt i don't know if it's women's or men's all right Let's what design on. So we can see um, it's, it's women's buttons are on the wrong side. Oh, I didn't know that. Well, they're on the wrong side. What's for the me. bleach to water ratio? So 50, 50 is what we've got going. It was concentrated bleach that we use just household bleach. Need a drink. Um, and we just 50, 50 on the water and bleach. So, and it doesn't take much. I mean, this whole little bottle is going to do our whole, all our projects today. All right. Do we want to do a design on the front of this one? Last um, time we did some stuff on the I pocket. I like the little heart on the pocket, but dealer choice. Just thinking what we could. This pocket's not very big. Let me see the pocket. I think we can heart pocket that or just leave it. Let's just do the back. I like to do the back. Come on. I've also seen people like stencil separate fabric and then stitch that on. That's really fun. Um, I think the other one is probably ready to be neutralized. Is it? Oh yeah, that's going strong. That's cute. All right. Here, you can do it right. You there. want me to do it by your five thousand dollar laptop? No, it's not five thousand dollars. How much does that laptop cost? It's like forty three hundred. Forty three hundred. <laughs> no pressure. It's on a a business lease, so I actually am not paying that. <laughs> I'm gonna give it away, and before I pay that much. Does the Apple Care cover DIY access? <laughs> I don't know because it has. When you were spraying um, on a, uh, it was a paint inlay, and you were spritzing some sealer on that, and it got all over the screen. So we'll see. We'll see what, what, what the they say when I turn that back. This is in. water and peroxide. What's the ratio? Do you know? Um, so one part to ten parts. One part peroxide to ten parts water. It doesn't need much peroxide. Yeah, fun fact, if you didn't know, if you're a creator and you want to get like a super nice computer to help your workflow go faster, um, Apple can... has business leases that they do and it's a two year lease. And at the end of the lease, you can turn it back in or opt to buy the computer from them. One, which the, our problem is we were buying new computers every two years anyways, and they're very expensive. So this one's up being cheaper for us. And it, it saves me so much time having a nicer computer like probably went from four or five hours of editing every day to like you went from eight to two. One yeah. To like days. one or two hours just because the computer is snappy. Um, all right. What design are we doing on this? We were talking about random computers. You guys aren't here for that. Um, what design? Let's, what design? Let, let's figure this out. You want to do this do one? A, I want to do that one. Okay. One of our more popular. Let's let's put it up because that's going to be across about right here. Okay. 
It'd be like those like hardcore biker shirts, only this is like <laughs> a French wall panel stencil. It says Mona Moore. Yeah, you might want to tape that in place. Yeah. Zeb does this because I can do it, but I'm like stenciling live makes me nervous. If the camera's off, I'm okay. Or if it's not live video. Zeb is much more calm and collected. Yeah. I feel like you are just in general. My whole premise to life is just start doing it. Don't wait for it to be too perfect or precious. Just go and it'll be what it is. And if you need to circle back and revisit once you have better skills, do that. You know, your mother-in-law, my mother who lives with us, is going to see these and she's going to be giving us some flannels, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. Well, she's got a ton in the basement that she hasn't even broke out for the winter. <laughs> my mom is tiny, so she needs all the small and extra smalls. Okay. Got that on there nice. The flannel is probably yeah, the worst material for taking the design and just bleeding it. So uh, it's so hydrogen light. peroxide. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. That somebody had a oh, question. It, Odelia Cooper says, if me and Odelia can stencil live, you can too. Well, the thing is, I'm I'm live, I'm talking, and I'm reading comments. So with my ADHD, sometimes that is it's hard to focus. I do pretty good. Like I'm unmedicated, although you probably all knew that. <laughs> Oh, you're going to line them up closer? Yeah, I don't want it to be like down on the middle of the back. Like that'll be, if we put it yeah, down, it'll be. Yeah, I think this is going to be way cute. Okay. Odelia says they were doing that and they were pros. Well, you're younger than I am. I am 40. Did, this, did it fall? Odelia, can you make Cody stop barking? He just needs someone to go hang out with him. It's, he is. He's. He was all hyper. Every time it snows, they get all pumped up. They're pumped and up. Then and then we were like, back. hey, go hang out in the bedroom uh, while we do a live stream so that you don't bark at everything. Last night I couldn't sleep for a little bit, so I woke up. Rex went to the bathroom and went back to bed. Cody came and laid on the couch with me and literally was like, I remember when my babies were little, they would like lay on me and put a paw, like a, not a paw, sorry, put an arm up. And that was Cody laying on me with a paw up underneath the blanket, like snuggling until he got too hot. But I was like, you are, I don't know that you know your dog. So are you going to do that first? I'm going to spritz it, but I want some protection on the sides. Always have Because I don't, so the reason we're doing this is because the design on the stencil is cool. But when you spray, we'll get like a square outline of where the know. stencil is. And you, yeah, you don't want that. It's a great use for, the, you know, this is Waste Not Wednesday, right? All of your boxes from okay. the holidays. I'm going to steal one of these for the bottom, and hopefully we don't spritz too much. Oh, you know what I'll do? Hold on. I'll just... Okay, that's going to be what it is. That, it is what it is. Now i got to go rinse my hand. <laughs> Done is better than perfect. That is true. Tebow Val said, would love to do my, bring my hubby for a couples class. He crafts with me, but he would, but would be fun to see others do this too. <laughs> that would be fun. We got to get the upstairs yeah. at the shop finished. It's still like, doesn't even have electrical. In it a actually rooms. is on my 2023 goal list because I want to have Dion from the turquoise iris come teach a class. And so I've got to have a space for her to do that. And I've been promising her for years that I would have a space for her. And um, so I'm going to get that done. That is on my list. All right. okay, it's not showing up just yet, but it's getting there. So we'll bring it back when it starts to come through. Here, I'll just show you a little bit. You can kind of see it's coming in, the, the Mona Moore up here. But we're going to give it a sec. That's why you don't want to neutralize right away because you got to let that bleach work. Hey, somebody said to do denim, and I found this really cool denim shirt, 2XL. Um, it says Weatherproof Vintage. Weatherproof is that brand that they sell at Costco. I think so. Yeah. It is. All right, we're just doing the back on this one, or so whatever we do on this one's going to show up big time. Yeah. Because mm. denim bleaches really well. I actually really, I was thinking like something floral. I don't know. And this is a 2X. This a, feels like a big shirt. Yeah, it's 2X. Yep. Is that weird to just have those floating? Um, but let's do them like, like right up there. Okay. 
I'm just there's a couple. I'm gonna look. There's just two we have pleats right that here. It says flowers, so you you get oh, that going. Well, okay, you need to talk to the people. So these are doing stuff like this. Um, I I actually really enjoy crafting and creating new things. I can't find the end of my tape right now. Um, but doing things like this is fun because it just it's quick. Like we're, we're gonna make seven eight shirts and some bags in an hour um and you know using thrift store shirts like i said they're not too precious you know not a big deal if uh, we ruin one or two of them or they don't turn out just how we want just perfect um so keep that in mind when you're doing crafting especially if uh it's something that can go wrong maybe don't go do it on like a 300 hundred dollar denim jacket now this is really narrow you think we can get that Yes. Okay, so this says wildflower. I think it's part of our bohemian word pack. I know Caitlin might be able to confirm that. We have a bunch of word packs, and they're fun for things like this because you can take your existing stencils, and you don't have to. We do sell the letters, which if you're very great, you can do those for signs. But in this case, you want the word already put together. You don't want to try to line up letters. The letters are fun because you can make them say whatever, right? You're not set to whatever the stencil says on it. On denim jeans, that would be super fun. Oh, yeah. Um, if I did denim, I feel like I'd have to be a little bit, I feel like maybe overalls because denim is so, for women especially, so many different cuts. So that gets a little bit crazy, but overalls, like some really cute baggy overalls would be fun. And those are in. And baggy overalls. I can always tell you what's in style because I have younger daughters and they're, we have one in particular that is very uh, up with what's going on trending wise. At least she thinks she is. I told the girls I'm going to take pictures of them uh, to remind <laughs> them in 10 years what they wore. Because I actually look at things I wore in high school. I was a kid in the late 90s, and I used to skateboard. And uh. so the big baggy stove, it was before I met Dad, because by the time I met him, I'd kind of gone more preppy. Um, but I wore big baggy stovepipe jeans with big giant skater shirts and skateboarding shoes. All right, you're up. I wore, I shouldn't tell you guys this, but I wore a dog <laughs> collar with my name on it not only was it a dog collar it was like a choke chain it was blue i started a trend i was cute when you're young i feel like you can pull off anything hold on i gotta there we go that'll work okay Now, I think this would be really cute to do some drippies on the bottom, but I'll let you do it because I went it the wrong way. Odelia says, and that isn't me. Odelia is also trendy, but she also has a relaxed style. Uh, Odelia is a young woman right after my own heart. Like, if it's not comfortable and she can't sleep in it, she doesn't wear it. <laughs> She's practical in her approach to style. But that's also me. Like, I was doing my laundry the other day, and I'm like, Zeb, you married a t-shirt and jeans, girl. That's Every good, now cause... and then, I'll get, like, a dress-up shirt. I actually need to do some – I want to get a few new shirts for spring that I'll carry in the shop. But really, t-shirt – I just live a t-shirt and jeans life. So this is very faint, so hopefully it gets darker. Otherwise... I think it will. I think it will. I don't know. We might just have to stencil it light if it doesn't – like, that's the trick. If it doesn't go – you just leave the halo back there. Um, Can't really see that. We'll see what happens. It's coming. It's Worst just really case, bright. We can bleach it all and stencil it. Let me let me dim that up a little and see if you guys can see that. You can see it coming in. Let's look at this one. We probably need to neutralize it. I I'm think... not cool because I still have a side part and I'm all still <clears> wearing skinny jeans. <throat> They're like leggings. They got more spandex than they have denim. Okay, so we are down to designing some duffel bags i'm kind of excited about oh that one is starting to come through but i feel like it's still not it's still pretty light i don't know that we want to do it again though because if you bleach too much it'll just eat through the fabric let's just let it keep going and you'll get a hole yeah i feel like that needs more so it's on there but it's faint i think that it will keep bleaching some more or oh hold on <laughs> sorry i got too bright we've been on for half an hour I should have been a rodeo queen in the 80s because I have a lot of hair 
and some hot rollers and I got rodeo queen here. All right. So while those are sitting up, let's do these bags. So these are just canvas, like tote bags. You could sew them too, but I'm, I don't like sewing. Is this dry? Yeah. All right. So let's do, I just want to do some fun designs on these. I think these are going to be a little bit easier because they'll be cutesy. You know, lint roller, shot. this, this thing here, we need to get rid of it. It's just too many projects. <laughs> Too many projects, too many heat guns that have like melted the fabric. Maureen says if they ever get rid of leggings, I can't go out. I just don't. I mean, I feel like we can control the style, right? And it, I will. I promise you that I will continue to buy. I will continue to buy leggings, yoga pants, and biker shorts. So if you can't find them anywhere else, you can find them at the JRB. So I'm gonna put this on here. Okay. Because uh, I want to see what it looks like on this black. Yeah, this is kind of like a, what kind of material would this be? Canvas. Canvas. You would like to see me in a rodeo queen getup. Well, maybe next year for Halloween. The girls have been wanting to get boots and cowgirl hats for the rodeo. So maybe we'll get it for the rodeo and then we'll wear it for Halloween. But I, I don't have a horse. So Cooper's going to have to lend me a horse. And then. When's the last time you rode horse. a horse? I was Once 14. With Ryan. One time when I was 14. I rode a horse. I can help you out. Well, I hear the Although it's probably been. Yeah, when's the last time you rode a horse? It's probably been 15 years since I've been on a horse, but it's one of those things. You, it's like riding a bike. <laughs> so my niece, Ryan, so my sister, Karen, has horses, has had them my whole life. I was 14, hadn't ridden any of her horses. And my niece, Ryan, says to me, the horse stops when it wants to, when it wants to. You can't make it stop. Just she showed me how to get it to go. And like an hour later, and if you've never ridden a horse, um, there's definitely a rhythm you have to get into. And if you're new, you don't know that rhythm. So I am sore, chafing, all kinds of situations. Finally, an hour later, she's like, actually, you can make it stop. So then she stopped the horse for me. And this was me walking for a week. And I haven't been back on a horse since. So that's my story. <laughs> but now I know you can stop horses. So we're good. Trying to figure out how to mask this. Oh, I'll just cover that up. All right, can you hold that this? side? Yeah. Okay. This is the wildflower two stencil. We also have the wildflower one stencil, which is actually one of our first stencils we designed, one of our most popular. We have over 200 stencils, all designed by. I would say Zeb we're and I. probably getting close to 300. Mostly me, because that's kind of, Zeb kind of takes charge of the decoupage paper, and I do stencils. So you might want to block that. I feel like it's a little yeah, it's cooling. Well, cooling. when I hold the thing like this, it drips out. It's not a very expensive sprayer. Kaylin hadn't heard that story before. Well, now you know. Ask Ryan. Be like, Ryan, can you make horses stop? And she will die laughing. My niece, Ryan, I should tell you, is like just like a year and a half, two years younger than me. Is she two years younger than you? Yeah, we're pretty close in age. This is I don't see it taking the bleach at all in this fabric. What is this crazy fabric? I don't know. If it doesn't bleach, then I guess we'll just... We'll stencil it with a white? Yeah. That is so weird. All right. Let's, let's set that aside. I got more. I'm going to go get white paint. So, <laughs> I don't know what's happening, but no, not, nothing on this. This is the... Uh, a made, what is it made out of? What okay, so now actual... you know you can't bleach this. I don't know what it's made out of. doesn't say. That's crazy that it doesn't bleach. Is there a bleach. tag? Like bleach affects everything. I've never I got seen. Crinoline. I mean, you can bleach leather. Like I don't know. I've never seen a fabric. Not it's like a hundred percent polyester. I don't know. It doesn't even say on it's the. It's actual plastic. It's probably polyester. All right. Well, let's stencil then. Let's do that same design with a stencil. The good news is it won't shrink or wrinkle if it's polyester. All right. Well. That's all right. Stencil it up. Luckily for us, we have lots of options. All right. So I'm going to get the bleach in the, this bucket here. I'm going to do that same design and stencil. Do we have, you got, cr you got crinoline out? I just got it for you right there next to Park okay. City. Huh. I think we're going to need to stencil this shirt. Okay. Do you want to neutralize it or do we want to stencil it first? No, well, we need to neutralize it and put it yeah, through the dryer if we're going to stencil it. it. So this shirt must have a lot of polyester in it too. 
that one, this plaid one, I don't know that I want to stencil it. What I might do with that plaid one, Zeb, is we can do like a canvas drop cloth and sew it on. I've got one. Let me neutralize this one. Which one are you neutralizing? The, oh gosh, the denim one. Don't worry, we thrift our spoons. I'll get more if that one gets ruined. For the low, <laughs> low price of 25 cents, you too can have a kitchen screwdriver. All right, so this one didn't turn out super great. So this is going to get a... Do we need to stencil it? Well, I don't think stenciling would work. It's just it's it's got a dark. lot going on. But oh, this won't work either because it's... I can stencil it. You can stencil it? Yeah. Oh, you just got to pick a color. Okay, well, the problem is... Because the what cool thing, we got 10 like 42. We don't have time. We'll have to stencil them. We after. still got like 20 minutes. Well, I've got to dry it. Oh, yeah. You can't get it. You're not going to get it dry. You, so not, Jamie's just dumping, dumping that in the bucket and rinsing it out. Yeah. After this video, we'll wash these and dry them and then we'll stencil them and we'll show them to you. Uh, tomorrow is Thursday. We're doing our Saturday thrift haul on Thursday because of the holiday. So we'll show you all the finished products and get them listed on the website. All right, this is crinoline and DIY paint. It's like a yellow cream. Cooper says, I like riding my horses, especially in the mountains in the early morning when the sun comes up. I will totally do that in the summer. That actually sounds awesome. I'm an early riser in the summer. I ain't riding no horses in the winter. If we ever get more property than we have i would entertain having horses but i would want it to be enough that they can graze on it and that's hard to find in utah yeah because it's a desert and you got to water it grass will grow but you got to water it and water shares in utah are even harder to find than land with enough grazing we actually discussed this we were looking at the country and there's all this green he's like how can we live when there's no green and then what we oh we were watching the news the weather like all the storms coming in and the humidity in the Midwest and I'm like and then the then you think about all the bugs and the humidity in the South I'm like yeah that every, is why we live in the West everybody's because. been having like these crazy storms and we're like it's been snowing but it's normal for here it's normal my, normal weather my hair and humidity gets poofy and kinky but not in a good way and so I just I can't I can't with it I. If you take me somewhere humid in the summer, just know that whatever I do and say, I have a chemical imbalance. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys watch Star Trek, last night we were watching the Voyager, and it's the episode where one of the, um, what's the guys with the ears and the eyebrows? Um, Not Klingon. Vulcan. Vulcan was going through the pond fire, I, pond fire or whatever, and uh, it's a chemical imbalance that makes them crazy until they mate. <laughs> I'm like, I feel like I've been chemically imbalanced. They're like angry and violent. That's me in humidity. I try to keep it in, but I'm not myself. It's also angry me when I'm violent. hungry. I'm not violent, but I'm pretty angry when I'm like, when it's human. Well, and also spiders come with that. And that's also your nemesis. Like your Achilles heel is spiders. Oh, I was going to tell you guys, well, Zeb's stenciling. Um, we are doing our craft kits the first quarter will be in january and we have not had time yet to work on the design hopefully by the end of the week or next week it was going to happen today but now i have other things happening with the appraiser coming well also our kids are out for the holidays so we're doing it we're, we're working as much as we have to but we might wind up doing it next week but i'm just letting you know we will leave up the sign up until the middle of january if you're not on the quarterly subscription it's going to be corbels it's going to be a couple corbels it's going to be a couple corbels and it's going to be chippy and you're only going to be able to get those corbels through the craft kit subscription so if Caitlin will drop the link here, then you guys can sign up for that or just wait for the, the prototype to come out. But it's going to be good, I promise you. The last time we did corbels, the corbels and the clocks probably are most popular um, craft kits ever. So Yeah, the clocks were fun. Zeb's using crinoline, which is a really great creamy color, and it's going to look good on this black. It would also be cute to do like pink on it. Do too. you want to go grab the iron? I'm going to pass this over to you so you can... Yeah, dry it out. You dry. might want to grab. You got the heat gun out. Yeah, so Caitlin just dropped the link for the craft kit. If you haven't signed up, 
Um, I can show you guys the last corbels that we made. This design is going to be different because we always do something Do you different. have the last corbels? Oh, they're yeah, up Yeah, they're up here. I'm looking for the iron too. Doesn't everybody keep their iron in their crafting supplies? Well, we have a steamer up in the laundry room that that's what we actually use on clothes. If, if we To get it. the wrinkles out. I don't know why, but we only have one of each color up here. So normally you do the same color. I don't know where the other ones are. So I'm going to leave this other stencil on here so that I can easily line this up. I guess I could see where the stencil is, but... Last now time that we I did these it. and we sent green and white and you get a pair. So they'll be similar size. I think these ones might be a little bit more chunky um, because of the design that I found that I want Seb to do. But anyways, and we show you how to make them like super chippy, crackly, old and goodness. So if you haven't signed up for the craft kit, definitely sign up for it. It's gonna be a good one. And we try to do the video of how to do it before the signups end because sometimes, yes, they will be MDF because we have to do a couple hundred and MDF is just more precise when you have to do quantities. So the other option would be like plywood and it can get chippy unless you buy real high end cabinet grade plywood and the MDF stress distresses up pretty easily too. We make it look good. Like those are MDF, but you yeah. would never know. That's cute. All right, I'll plug this in. Although I, I will heat. I'm gonna heat seal it in 24 hours anyway. So I don't know why you have me doing it now because I like just to, to show them. Well, just pretend this is me heat sealing. That, that is so cute. These are gonna look good at the shop. I love to do stuff like this at the shop because it sells, but also because. People will um, see them and then buy stencils. So it's a really great display option. Right. So this is what that other shirt down there, we'll probably do it in the weathered wood because it's darker um, on that dark shirt. We might do it in crinoline. I don't know that the crinoline will really match with that red though that's in that other shirt. But the one that it wasn't really showing up on the flannel, that same design, we'll do it in a stencil over the top of the bleach that. and you get kind of this fun little halo effect. Let's do that design. Okay. What do you want up above that? Nothing? Um, what? Do you just want this like centered? I, I was going to do the Montresor above. Oh, okay. I was also going to show you, this is how I like to stage them in the shop. Let me see if I can find them. That did not come through on the last one. There was nothing through, so I'm not going to put the backer in the middle. Oh, okay. Because it wasn't big enough nice and I was... thick canvas backs. It wasn't big enough and I was having to chase it around. It says buffering. Is it better now? Okay, so... This is just ribbon that I picked up at the Hobby Lobby because I used it on my display. But I like to take, this is also cream and black, but I just like to take and do a cute little simple bow. I'll trim it later. I actually can probably get two bows out of this, but how cute is that with a bow on it, right? So I'm gonna probably get some more of this. I can do two of these and I'll tie them up like that and I'll put them in the shop on my mannequins. And we'll get these listed in the next couple of days. Maybe by tomorrow. So if you guys want to just buy just the canvas bags, these are $9.95 on the website. Caitlin, can you drop the link? I don't know if I made them live. Let me double check. Did you check that one over there to see if the bleach was doing anything to it? Oh, I'll go back. Um, they are live. Yeah, this if particular you just black bag, Caitlin, they'll pop up. I'm not sure what collection Ivy put them in, but they should be in the, the um, I would say home decor because for $9.95, they're not going to be free shipping. So kind of. It's coming in a little bit. But not enough to really do anything. So I'm going to neutralize it and we'll do something else with this later. All right. We'll just put another one. of the, We'll just do that same design over the top of whatever it's got. Okay. If it's got a little shadow or halo, it'll be all right. Um, this has been probably one of our favorite stencils to use, this particular one. The this, wall panel? Yeah, this French wall panel. It's so cute to take and put texture medium and paint and then use the IOD blades to go over the top and do a raised stencil. We did a couple of just pieces of plywood and we put that on there and sold them and they sold really quick. Thank you, Caitlin. Um, they will probably be $19.95, the ones that we've stenciled. And I will get them listed on the website 
probably today or tomorrow. We'll see. It's kind of a crazy busy by definitely by tomorrow when I do the thrift haul. Well, we have like an hour before the appraiser gets here. And then after that, like the day's wide open once he's done. It'll be it'll be what it is like like wide open is a loose term. So we we're doing a refinance on some things for the house because we want to finish the basement and we have a few things like we never trimmed out the ceilings in the family room. The mud room still needs like it tiled uh, down by the garage entry. Well, we paid cash for like everything that we did and then we never really pulled that out. So we're pulling out just some of the cash that we put into it and then all of our sweat equity is still here but we want to finish the basement because that's going to be the playroom and we're going to put the pottery wheel down there and my my goal is to by next year have a big new stove a big new stove right here an oven um and i know that sounds fancy but we cook a lot and so I'll, well I've since been, we've been doing everything from scratch like this does not always have enough room especially if you have two people in the kitchen well in the summer when i'm canning like yeah. i need room for my canner and for cooking <laughs> <laughs> but or in the fall but um i was like if we're not eating out as much so i'm like if i save that money from not eating out and making stuff from scratch then i can justify it and I feel like stoves aren't what they used to. Like we got this one super good deal on Clarence at RC Willie, but we've already had to replace the knobs. It doesn't bake evenly. I just, I need, we cook so much. I need a really good stove. And we want to do- And well, the thing videos. is it wasn't a cheap stove. I know. Like, thank goodness we got it on uh, Clarence. And it's not better. It's actually better. Um, it's better than the stoves that we've had before, so I can't complain. I do love that it is gas. That is like so much better. Yeah, it does have the gas range, which is handy. Um, what is an IOD blade? So it's a silicone blade. Let me see. I, I think there's one it. over there. Yeah. Uh, I thought there was another question. Your copper cups are good for hot liquids. I wouldn't put hot liquids in them. Because Here's the thing. Conducting. If it's super hot, like it will get very hot to touch. Hey, you got to be careful walking behind that camera. Sorry. Shaking uh, it I all over. Okay, um, here's the skinny it, one. It, it, it'll get really hot. Like whatever temperature your liquid is, it'll conduct that and maybe even exceed that a little bit. <laughs> all right. So this is a silicone blade. They, they have one twice as wide. It comes in a pack and you can literally put like um, salt wash or you can put the um, the paint thickener. What's that called? Paint frosting from DIY paint into your paint to thicken it. And then you blade the paint across your stencil, pull it up, let it dry. And then it's a raised stencil and you can do wax or a color wash over it. And it's really, really cool. We'll try to do some videos here in the next, I don't know. We're, we have new stencils that'll probably come out the end of January, so we'll do some fun stuff with that then. I actually have, we didn't really do much of a winter release. We did a fall release, so we probably have quite a few stencils, new designs coming out. And we have designs that I was looking through that I haven't even stenciled. Like we usually get 20 stencils at a time and I'll use 10 or 15 of them and never circle back sometimes. <laughs> We do. We have a lot of stencils. We, we try to have a lot of options for you guys to do all the things you need, all your projects. So we have a bunch of stuff at the shop because we keep so much stuff here. But from we used to have a studio at the shop and now it's on the second floor. And I think I'm going to do some craft de-stashing when we clean out that. So that'll probably happen this spring. And whenever I do that, it's always really good deals and people scoop it up because it's like the IOD and all the stencils. Because sometimes if I can't find a stencil, I will just open a new pack. <laughs> so I have some duplicates. Are all of my stencils vintage -y? Um, So we have a lot that are like French vintage inspired. We have um, Tons of grain beach sacks. stencils. We carry Bohemian stencils. We also carry Amera design stencils for us. If you follow Vintage Retail Therapy and hers are more like over the top bougie Victorian, I guess is the best way I can describe them. And so we have, we have a variety. If you go to the website, they're separated by styles. We've got quite a few holidays. tile stencils. Yeah. We've got a lot of fun stuff. We even have one that I want to use. That's uh, like a skull with flowers. That is really fun. That I think would be really great for bags. Lots of Christmas, lots of fall, lots of seasonal stencils. 
Yeah. All right. Let's see what this looks like. I got a little juicy up top when oh, I when I brushed it. I was like, oh, don't brush. Just keep pouncing. So these are all made in the USA um, by a small woman-owned business. And we design them and she manufactures them and ships them out of Michigan for us. Do you want me to put this on yeah, there? Yeah, I think that'll kind of finish that off here. And then I think it's 1056, so this will probably be our last bag. Do you want to go grab that pink shirt, those two shirts, so yeah, we can show the them in case did turn out the way we in case, in case people are just joining? Yeah. And didn't see those. I feel like this needs more bleach, but we'll let it dry and then we'll come at it again. I don't know. I don't know that more bleach is going to be the answer. This I think it's nice and subtle like that. You want me to try it on and see? No. Well, there is some bleach on the front. I was just thinking you want to try it on. It's sopping wet. Oh, is it wet? Yeah. Oh, you put it, you neutralized it. Yeah, because it had bleach on it. But anyways, this one turned out really cool. This I, I was actually surprised by how good that one did. This is one of Mara's stencils. And then this was the cute Ralph Lauren sweater that we did and then we did that bag i think sometimes people think of stencils just for like home decor but i wanted to show you guys that there are more things you can do with it that you can really stretch the value if you guys have booths especially you can make signs and bags and clothes and all kinds of fun stuff you could do stockings for christmas um, but yeah, if you need these products, visit jamierayvintage.com and we will get the finished items that turn out the way I like them listed for our Saturday thrift haul, which is actually going to be Thursday. We'll be tomorrow at 7 30 um, PM. Is that it? Anything I think else? that's everything right now. And if you like this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more DIY. Bye you guys. Thanks for joining us. Now we got to get this all picked up quick. Fraser's coming. Fraser's coming. You're going to end that? Yeah. <laughs> We're just staying on for bonus chatting. Yeah, you can watch us.